Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of TWIP Talks. I am your host, Frederick Van Johnson. In this interview, I sit down with the co-founders of a company called Live Portrait. Now, they do something pretty interesting. They're not your typical iOS developer, if there is such a thing. What these guys have created is an app that essentially brings printed photos to life, kind of like Harry Potter. So what happens is you download their app, And in the back-end software, you marry up a video and a still photograph. And then from that point forward, whenever you run the app and aim the camera at the the photo in the physical world, hanging on the wall, like behind me, the photo comes to life. So in the the blog post for this episode, uh, I will will put a print in there or an image. And you can download their app and aim it at that image and you'll see it come to life on your phone. It's the freakiest thing in the world and also the coolest thing in the world. And I think it's a really cool way of bringing the digital world into the physical world or vice versa. So this is an interview with those guys. So the co-founders as well as an advisor to the company has sat down with me to kind of talk through where the company is today and what the future might hold for Live Portrait. I'm here talking to three gentlemen that are involved in an interesting project slash product that I'm a huge fan of. I've been playing around with it, experimenting with it, and everyone that I show this app to and kind of the magic that it does, it has like 900 questions. So I figured, why not do an interview with these guys to kind of figure out just got to dive a little bit deeper. And I know, I, I, guys, before we continue with this, I was on the fence about doing this interview because I didn't want to kind of reveal my superpowers to everybody <laughs> and show them how I'm doing this cool stuff. But we're going to do it anyway. So welcome to the show, guys. So why don't you go ahead and we'll go through this. In, each one of you introduce yourselves and then I'll go through and kind of uh, get the interview going. Starting with you, Samuel. Uh, I'm Sam. Uh, I'm actually one of the co-founders of Live Portrait. Uh, Robert here. Yeah, Robert, the other co-founder, Live Portrait. Robert Nunn? All right. Robert Nunn, yes. And then we got Big Peter over here. (laughs) Hey, guys, Peter (laughs) Lawrence, uh, owner of Cornerstone Photography out of Moore Park. All right, cool. Awesome. All right, guys. So let's let's dive into this. So first off, I want to talk about the company itself. So Live Portrait is the name of the company. You know, I kind of, in the intro a little bit, I kind of teased what you guys are doing. Uh, Robert, why don't you kick us off? Tell us what Live Portrait is and what was the original concept behind the company. Okay, so basically to make a long story short, um, we have another company called Digital Yearbook Page, mm-hmm. which was a high school yearbook app that was designed for seniors to be able to express themselves in the yearbook. So what happened is we, um, we got some funding for that. Um, took about a year or two. We were on Yahoo. We got some good press and everything. And we wanted to add video to our um, yearbook app, basically, so um, students would be able to scan their yearbook photo and see a little video of themselves using our augmented reality app. Yeah. So um, we approached Peter. We, we looked up um, photography studios. We approached Peter and we were saying, hey, um, can we have you guys um, basically come in and shoot video? And then we started talking and then we kind of realized there's actually a market for photographers to have their own product, which um, connects photos and videos together. And it ended up just kind of catching on and it really grew from there. And now it's become the main product and the yearbook app is like, <laughs> almost yeah. an afterthought at this point. It's crazy. It's crazy. So let me let me just describe how it works. You know, so and this is my experience with the app. So and, and you know, I got to tell you, I was I showed I showed I did one of these uh, or I created a live portrait from one of my shots and I showed it to a friend of mine and they were blown away. I mean, and they, they were like literally saying, are you kidding me? Right. So it's that level of impact that this thing has. So basically, in a nutshell, you could take a print or an image on the screen and put that and basically marry it to the, a video. And when you aim your app at it, it's, you know, you're seeing the video, the live feed of the video through the your phone. When you aim it at this app, it reveals the motion video and audio. But not only that, it maps it in 3D space on top of the thing that you're aiming at. So it looks like the thing that you're looking at comes to life, comes to life with audio and video. It's crazy. I mean, it's like Harry, it's like Harry Potter through your iPhone, basically, right? So, yeah. so you know, so Samuel, 
what's your involvement in this? Are you are you a coder? Are you like what? How do you fit uh, in? No, we're actually we're not coders. We're the we're the brains behind the whole idea, and uh, we mainly concentrate on the on the the marketing side of how to make people understand that this picture is not just a picture. It actually has a story behind it, yeah. and I think that's one of the the most difficult things. Uh, about explaining how augmented reality works to people that you know don't really know about it yep. so the the wow factor of the pictures coming to life that's cool what we're really excited about is what the photographers are going to do now that they have this tool what yeah. are they going to create what what are they going to hide behind that picture yeah so I, we're, we, that's 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 what i'm looking forward to and that's that's the message that we're trying to push and uh, I think it's huge. Have a big part in that. I think it's it's really huge because I once I got my brain around it. I mean, you guys, we met at a trade show and you kind of gave me a quick demo yeah. on the show floor and I was blown away. And but it wasn't until I actually tried it myself that I it kind of clicked. And then you start thinking wherever I see print. I can, you could add motion to it or, or a printed photo. I mean, magazines, I can imagine magazines from product reviews saying, hey, aim your phone at this photo and you can see the live product review or, you know, model magazines where the model's talking or whatever, all kinds of stuff. I did a cinemagraph hanging on the wall behind me is a photo and I'll link to it in the post for this, but I did, I'm on this, this, this tangent of creating cinemagraphs, which are photos that have a little bit of motion in them. So I was thinking this is the perfect application of this, you know, but on the business side. So Peter, you're you're an active working photographer shooting seniors and that kind of stuff. How does this fit into your business? Well, it, it kind of fits in everywhere. Um, we're kind of a hybrid studio. So we're a volume studio that photographs about 90,000 elementary kids K through 12. But we also do weddings or mitzvahs, children, babies. So we've been using all, we've been working with live portrait ever since August of last year and took baby steps doing the staff group pictures, obviously put it into yearbooks. Um, but in the spring, we um, started taking, uh, going to the culmination of promotion pictures for the kids and asking kids, what's been your favorite memory here at Weathersfield Elementary? Who, what do you think you want to be when you grow up? Uh, who do you want to thank? And the power for our parent to be able to point their camera and hear their kids, you know, what they thought was where they were going to be and who they wanted to thank when they were in fifth grade or eighth grade or 12th grade. It's just super powerful. I think of it kind of as a time capsule. Absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. Um, I, I just can't pedal my bike fast enough to try to figure out all the different ways I want to use it. Right now, we're in high school senior season and we're actually videotaping the behind the scenes experience of the high school seniors pictures. And then we'll embed that into their favorite trigger image at the end, which can, of course, be used in their invitations come next year. So much going on. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's, it's, it's one of those products that seems like it sells itself because once it, you once you see it and once and I can imagine, Peter, in, especially in a high school type environment, once one kid sees what has happened, everybody's going to want it. Right. Or, you know, they want to see it becomes like a process of discovery. I want to see what's behind that photo. You know, exactly. Uh, one of the days on an un, uh, unplanned, um, well, it was a panoramic of 600 kids. And then I just started showing the kids going, hey, you guys want to try to do something kind of fun? And all 600 kids just went kind of crazy. And we had this little fun montage of them saying their school spirit song and all that. And my panoramic sales doubled from that because the kids were just kind of like, oh, I got to have a panoramic that actually, you know, has our little message and our little chant in it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, so I, a couple questions on this. So and back to the founders on the other side. So you guys, when you, when you look at this technology in general, um, you know, what it... Like what, where is it going? Are you guys like business model wise? Are you looking at this as, okay, we're going to be the hub and we're going to license this to, you know, photographers and different organizations? Or are you looking at maybe down the line doing an OEM version where, you know, a certain trade show could say, Hey, go download our app. And this, your code is in the app and people can, you know, reveal things behind photos and products and that kind of thing. What's a, what's a long-term vision? So we started um, with schools because we really like the concept of the tradition of schools because it's going to be, you know, volume photography every single year, you know, so we basically can count on that. And we're also going to be expanding um, as well. 
okay. to do other markets. You know, school is just like kind of is a, a constant solid. Yeah. You know, but there's so many uses of the application that there's possibilities are endless. You know, people contact contact us saying they want to do their like menus. You know, in the restaurants, and there's so many different things that we never even thought about, which is really cool. So we're we're really open to expanding well, to everything. Yeah. Yeah, and and then the other question, um, you know, Sammy, I'll throw this one at you. What about what you know from a looking at it from a technical standpoint? You guys are the visionaries and the brains behind this thing. Uh, does it tie into illustrations? Is it only just is it only photos? For example, could I have you know, say an artist wanted to make his cartoons come to life? Absolutely. You know, and like it's a I could see a newspaper using this saying, okay, we gotta exactly. let's drive up subscriptions. Let's uh, you know, make our animated strips come to life. You aim and you carry your phone at it and now the animations do things on the page. Could that happen? No, no exactly. You're actually taking all the words out of my head in my head. <laughs> um, I recently met a guy who wrote a book on economics. And in his book, he has different charts and different ways of uh, trying to explain what he's talking about in the book. So when he found out what I did, he was going nuts over it because he already has animations of those charts that actually when you just look at the video, you'll know exactly what he's talking about in the book. So he, the, the thought of combining that to be in his book blew him away. And that's actually, imagine school books. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, history books. Uh, just j it, it can go everywhere. You know, I was, like I was, I said, I was thinking uh, that Apple has their whole concept of iBooks, right? And part of part of the the draw of the iBooks is the multimedia component, where you you know it's basically a, a you know a, a powerful PDF, where you turn the pages, and now this page has interactivity and video and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking, like I I'm doing a couple of talks coming up. I was like, what if the handouts had live portrait data on them where my presentation is being recorded and at the end all they have to do is aim their phone at this photo of me or whatever and see the presentation again you know just like that so no <laughs> downloading no finding no qr codes just yeah, right. aim your phone at this thing no peter is yeah. this is this the kind of stuff that you're looking at doing that and I, I, like I said, I couldn't pedal this back bike fast <laughs> enough. I mean, uh, I'm going to be photographing a football team in a couple weeks from now, so I'm going to have every single guy saying their name and their position, who they play for, and same with the cheerleaders and same with the groups. So imagine a media guide at the end of the year where everybody is kind of pouring through it to see what that kid said and what that kid said. But the real powerful, uh, where I think it's really powerful, is the advertising. Oh, media yeah. book. I mean, people are spending four or five hundred dollars for a full page ad in the in the back of their media guide. Well, they probably pay double that if they could actually have a thirty second spot to explain why their service. And oh no, I think it goes beyond that because I think you think mainstream magazines. You know, pick your pick your industry and yes. the the high profile photo shoots that go into creating images for that. If you if the the person that's selling that photography says, okay, we're going to shoot this. But then there's also this video component that no one else has that we're going to add so that people that are buying this magazine can actually experience your product and have the, the person that's in there start talking to them. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, normally we charge 40 grand for that, but, you know, we're going to give that to you for, you know, 39. <laughs> <laughs> it, it also so, allows you to say uh, to say less, uh, to say more with less. So just like just like Apple, uh, the way they market everything is just so simple. Everything is clean. There is literally one word on some of their marketing material. Mm -hmm. uh, you can still keep that look and point your phone and still be able to get the message, all the the whole message, other than just that one word. Yeah. So you can say a lot more with just uh, with our technology, and I think that's another really cool factor. I do. Yeah. yeah. One, one thing I was thinking of while I was playing with it was, OK, you know, because I'm, I'm planning this project that I told you guys about before we started recording. So I'm planning this project. The Then I'm thinking through how people are going to actually experience it. So is is the goal of live portrait to expose the live portrait brand to as many people as possible? Or do you want to abstract it down a level and let the photographer brand the app? Or somehow, you know, what, what's the what's right. the thinking? Because, you know, I could see someone like a, 
a Joe McNally or Annie Leibovitz doing something and they're going to want to have their name on the app. So, hey, go download my app and look at my photo kind of thing. Have you guys given any thought to that? Um, initially, we have we have uh, a lot of people always ask us this. Uh, that's something that we don't want to do. We're not looking in, uh, into doing something like that because it's already hard enough to explain to someone what they have to do. Yeah. Uh, as far as downloading the app, holding it over the picture, yeah. uh, we the reason we're, it's really cool that we're in schools is because the kids are learning how to what this technology is yeah. uh, at that age. Yeah. So this is like a, a, a learning process. We want everyone as soon as they see that you could scan, as soon as they see a picture, we want them to take out take out live portrait, hold it over, and watch the video come to life, or else it gets confusing. And uh, the augmented reality market, like you said earlier, it was, it's been out, um, you know, a few years already, but not too many people know about it because there's a lot of different apps that do a lot of different things and are too, uh, like, an individual photographer, the way too many individual photographers have little apps that never get anywhere other yeah. than, you know, to their customer base. And then yeah. they forget about it. So you're going mass. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. So, okay, so last question on the business side of this, and then we'll talk a little bit about the technology behind it. But on the business side, um, I'm assuming everything's patented and locked down because I'm, I'm thinking someone big like, uh, you know, an Amazon or an Apple or Google, you know, may either... If they don't have it, they may want to buy you. But if they they may look at it and say, hey, you know, let's let's throw five million at that and build it ourselves unless it's locked down. I'm assuming you guys are all buttoned up and and ready yeah, for that it, onslaught. It's, <laughs> it's a long process. So, <laughs> yeah, you good. Know, sorry. You know, the augmented reality side is, you know, something that we're using. But the process of how to make this work on a commercial scale is, you know, what we buy in the trademark as well. So. Love it. Love it. Yeah, I figured that's good. That's cool. OK, so augmented reality, which is. I know what it is, but it's as a marketer, it's a word that I hate because <laughs> it's yeah. like because you try to explain, you know what they say in marketing, like it, you have to speak in terms that a five year old could understand. So try to explain augmented reality, just those words to someone. It's like, what? You're a geek. Exactly. I don't care. You know, they dismiss <laughs> it until you start explaining or they think, you know, if they're from Southern California, augmented reality means something completely different. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so I'm thinking, like, have you guys given any thought to like just owning like I like live portrait. Like if you like use that brand instead of the geeky augmented reality as a descriptor, I mean, I would because when I just when I say live, hey, look at this thing. It's a live portrait. They kind of understand, you know, it's alive and it's a portrait. How is it alive? Oh, you use this app. Have you given any thought to that? Yeah, definitely. That's what we're thinking as well. That's why we have the whole live portrait branding. Like it doesn't say augmented reality anywhere on our website. Good. Because it, like you said, it has to be really simple to understand. You know, you point your phone at it, you see a picture come to life. You know, you have the video basically hidden inside the picture. So when you start getting all technical, it becomes, you know, a little too much. And then they start thinking about QR codes and thinking about all the other connotations with yeah. the words. So, yeah. So yeah. Definitely live portrait. You have your senior portrait, you have your school portrait, you have your live portrait. <laughs> Yeah. So that's how uh, I see. Hey, Frederick, if I can, you know, not to speak for the founders, but I mean, I hope that Live Portrait becomes like the du jour app, you know, that everybody uses from real estate to advertising to school pictures and uh, beyond. That's I think that's our goal yeah. is to is to have it just used in many different facets. And it's very so. So it's not scary. It's not augmented reality. Like you said, it's just you know, it's just an app you use every day. <laughs> yeah. Can I can I make a prediction based on that? So I'm going to make a prediction. I've been good at my predictions so far. So I'm going to predict that uh, this app is going to be wildly successful. I think people are going to love it, download it, especially after this interview. Right? So people are going <laughs> to download it and love it and want to be able to create their own, especially photographers, obviously. Um, and especially considering how fast video adoption is coming and how people are searching for different ways to differentiate their videos and storytell in a different way. This is a completely different way to blend the physical world with the digital world. So I think it's perfect. But my prediction is that uh, somebody with really, really, really deep pockets is going to come along and uh, make you guys part of their giant organization. I'm not going to drop any names <laughs> <laughs> that may start with an A or a G. <laughs> but, <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm thinking someone that that is invested in digital media is going to look at this and say, yeah, we need to we need to incorporate that to differentiate ourselves from our competitors because it's uh, it's magic. I think it's it's one of those things that's like, you know, it's kind of like I think of it like drones, you know, with like DJI and drones that weren't possible until smartphones came with miniaturized GPS and com- miniaturized compasses on a chip and accelerometers and all that. Somebody said, let's put all those things together and marry it with this old RC technology and make something completely new. You guys are doing that, but for photographers. So yeah, I think it's amazing. I think, I think you guys should be proud of yourselves. So congratulations. No, I thanks, appreciate Jay. that. You know, we hope so too. So, yeah. you know, we, we think it's going to be the new normal in a couple of years. I think that just everyone is going to see a picture and they're going to expect a video behind it. And I think they're going to be disappointed if there's not a video attached yeah. to the photo. That's know? yeah. I yeah. 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 I, I think so. And you know, um, all the photographers that are watching out there, I mean, I welcome anybody to contact me to tell you how it's working in the real world. I'd be more than happy to, to share how successful we've been with it. Love it. Yeah. And I'll put all of your contact information in the blog post for this episode and in the YouTube description. Um, before we leave, where where should people go? You know, I'm, I'm sure they're chomping at the bit now. They're like, OK, how do, how do I get in on this? I want to add this to my business. What should they do first? Right. Well, there's actually two ways that you can get it. You can go to our website, liveportrait.com, and basically sign up and get credits, which will allow you to um, upload your own photos and videos. And it's going to be coming soon to Photo Labs. Photo Labs are going to be part of the process. So especially Bay Photo is going to be starting in August. So if you're going to be um, sending your pictures to Bay Photo, you actually don't even have to send your photos to us. You know, it's they're all automated as part of the system. Through their system. Oh, everything. that's killer. Oh, great! Because yeah, so. Bay Photo is my lab, so <laughs> when I send when I send large prints to them, they will automatically be ready for me to attach video to them on exactly. the back end. Yes. It's going to be in the Rose system automatically as a product that you can just add on to your prints already. So okay, so you know, within yeah. Rose, I'll be able to add a video in there, or will I have to do it through your? Do I do it through your site? Within, within Rose. Within Rose, you'll be able to add a video. Whoa! <laughs> we're, okay. kind of, we're unofficially announcing that right now, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. That I like reaction, Frederick. That's good. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, yeah, because that was one of. I mean, it was easy to marry up the video and the still when I went through the process for that one back there. Um, okay. But yeah, but to be able to do it through rows while you're ordering a print that's framed and have it just be done is yeah that's a no-brainer so yeah yes automation is the goal (laughs) all right so how do i invest in the company (laughs) (laughs) all right guys well thank you so once again liveportrait.com and uh peter what's what's your url to your site uh uh, www.imagesbycornerstone.com imagesbycornerstone.com and liveportrait.com to learn more about this stuff cool all right guys thanks a lot i appreciate it thank you thank you thank you okay see you later Thank you.